In today's video, we're doing the guitar parts for Mariella by Kerrangbin and Leon Bridges off their Texas Sun record. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so we can monetize this channel. Also, check out the Patreon for as little as $5 a month. You can support the channel, and for this particular video, you'll get my handwritten notes uh, for this uh, song in a PDF form. So grab a guitar and let's play. There's really not a whole lot of basic chords in this video, although we're going to be working with B minor, D, G, and A, and we're going to be working with those uh, around the neck in different locations. So as we go through the video, I'll try to highlight those changes so you can see them and put up a little, uh, little chord chart so you can get an idea of what I'm doing. The guitar melody that starts the song is going to start on the third string, seventh fret. And then it's going to go seven, nine, seven, six, and then six, seven, six, four, and then two. And then it's gonna go two, four on the third string, two, three on the second string, and then it's gonna pull off three, two, zero, and then on the third string, go from two to four. So that'll sound like this. At the end of that passage, we start to get into some of the chords that we're outlining. This is one of them that's going to be a B minor, and we're going to use the uh, sort of the traditional B minor shape, but we're just going to do two fingers, and I'm doing the second and third finger. Second finger on D, second string, third fret, and then third finger on uh, B, third string, fourth fret. And I'm just going to pick down. I'm going to pick down a little bit on that again. And then I'm going to switch up to the A, which is the first and second finger on the second uh, fret, third and second string. So again. And that let that ring. Now we're going to move all the way up to the seventh fret, and it's going to be like a D chord, but we're just going to play the fourth, third, and second strings. So it's going to be... So that first shape is going to be the three notes of the D chord, and then it's going to go up to the shape of... Uh, the first finger is going to stay there on the seventh fret, second finger is going to come down on the second string eighth fret, and then third string is going to be on the fourth string nine fret. So it's like an abbreviated G chord. So it's going to go from D to G and then back to D. It's going to do that again. The verse is going to start and we're going to have a similar pattern in that we're going to go from that G or E minor seven, depending how you want to play it or look at it. So it's going to go and then to an A chord. Only we're really just playing the sort of the three notes on the fourth, uh, third, and second string. So again, it's like a, a D chord to a D chord, uh, sorry, a G chord to a D chord, and then to the A. And then it's going to go from a D type shape, seventh fret again. Hammer onto that 879 pattern, the G, back to the D, and then we'll get a little run. So it's going to go from 7 to 9 on the 5th string, 7 on the 4th string, and then back to 9 on the 5th string. And throughout the song, you'll see a little of these hammer-ons from D to G. Now when we get to the chorus, it's going to walk down from this G to the D to the A and then the G. The next time it does it, it's going to stop at the A. And then you're going to get back into more riffs that repeat throughout the song. For instance,
Again, we're gonna have another chorus that's gonna go from this G shape to the D, big D, A, and then G. And then the next time through, it won't go to that G. And then once towards the end, you'll have another melody like the beginning. Now if you want to do some soloing over the song, you can use the B minor pentatonic scale. This is the one everybody knows. And then you can also go down to the that scale here in the second position and then work it back up to different positions. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe down below. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so we can monetize the channel. Also, check out the Patreon. We can start for as little as $5 a month. And for this particular lesson, you're gonna get a PDF of my handwritten notes for the lesson. It's not exhaustive. It's about three quarters of the song, but it covers all the little cool riffs that you hear all throughout the song. And know that there's just a lot of stuff really going on, just buried and, and drenched in that just amazing reverb. Um, it's a great record, it's a great song. Um, you should check it out whether you uh, listen to the lesson or not, or whether you do the lesson or not. Obviously, why are you here if you don't like the song? All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.